Hey there, and welcome to this video about custom actions or custom scripts in Front Matter CMS. Custom actions or custom scripts are a way for you to extend Front Matter. It's a way for you to create an action that you want to perform on the article that you're creating or on the metadata or Front Matter of your article. Or you can even create media scripts. So for media optimization or media generation, you can use it as well. So what are examples of using custom actions? An example would be for generating automatic front matter or metadata for your content, or for instance, generating an open graph image. This is where I typically use it for. So for my blog, whenever I create an article, it will automatically generate myself a open graph image. And that's also the demo I'm going to show you in this video. So it's all about open graph images. And I will start with a demo script that will run from the terminal. So it will take a couple of parameters and then it will automatically generate me that image. Once this is working, I will show you how you can hook it up into front matter. So that's it's first done by a manual action and then we are going to automate it so that we don't have to click on anything anymore, that it will just be automatically generated the moment I start creating my content. So let's dive in and show you what it's all about. Let's have fun. So here we are in Visual Studio Code where I already have the script for the open graph image open. At the top, you will see the dependencies the script requires. All these dependencies, they already have been installed. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, the script itself is going to contain a couple of uh, properties that we are going to use in order to generate me the open graph image. The main one is the data variable. In the data variable, you can see the title, the description and the dates. These three properties, they will later come from front matter CMS. So I mimic the same behavior for the current script. Beside the script, we have an HTML file. And the HTML file just contains some tailwinds and some overall styling and then some HTML in order to generate me an image with the front matter logo, the title, the date, and the description. In the script, the title, the date, and the description placeholders will be replaced by the data objects. Once I'm opening my terminal, type in the path to my script with the node command, it will generate me this image. And this image is exactly what I want to attach whenever I create new content. So now that we have manually done it, let's go over to how you can link this into Front Matter CMS. The best way to get started to linking your script is via the documentation. On the documentation, you will find custom actions. And in custom actions, you will see two sections about content scripts and media scripts. We are going to focus on these content scripts where a content script is going to do something for the content that you're going to create or that you already created. In here, you can actually see that every time you're going to execute a content script, it's going to provide you a couple of arguments. These arguments are going to be the workspace path, the file path, and the front matter data of your content. The content script itself can be any type of script that you want. So you can use PowerShell, you can use Batch, you can use a Node script, whatever is your preference. The only thing that you need to know is that you need to configure it for front matter and name the correct command in order to start using it. Once configured, we can use it in the UI of front matter. In the documentation, you can see a sample script and this is a great starting point. So remember this, three arguments that are going to be provided for our script. We can use these arguments in our script in order to do the automatic generation. So once we know that, we can start creating the script. Back in Visual Studio Code, what I'm going to do is create myself a new file and I already prepared the script. In the script, the main difference is that the data object is now generated or created by what is being retrieved from the arguments, the arguments that front matter is going to provide. So there you can see that I'm going to use the workspace path and I'm going to use the data raw object. And the data raw object is the JSON representation of what is in my front matter. I'm going to parse this JSON and then I'm going to generate the open graph image. 
at the bottom you will see a den and a cache. In the den, it's going to lock the parts of the image. And this is what I actually need in order to paste in into the front matter section of my content. Now, what is important is that the listener of front matter is going to look for a console output. Once there's a console output, it knows that the script has been completed. And that's also when you get a notification inside Visual Studio Code. Now that I explained the script, it's time to move over to the configuration of how you can link this script in the UI of front matter. That configuration can start in the front matter.json file. There we are going to create a new front matter.custom.scripts property. And in there, we are going to configure the new scripts in order for front matter to know that there's a new custom action that is becoming available. What you can see is that we just name it with an ID, a title, a script, and a command. Here I'm using a path to where my NVM or node process is located. Because if you're using NVM, it needs to know the right version of node that it's going to use. So that's why I specify a specific path to the node version. If you only have one node version installed, you can just use node. Now that the script is configured, you can open one of your markdown files. When the markdown file is open and the panel of front matter is open, you will see that underneath the action section that there's a new button uh, available. This new button, in my case, says generate open graph image. When I click on it, it will start executing the script that is attached to it. Once executed, it will give you a visual response of the outputs of the console log that you did. In my case, this will be the path to the actual image. And this is what I can use to copy and then paste in into the front matter section. We can also do a change to the script in order to automatically update the front matter of the file when the script gets executed. In order to do so, we have to do one small tweak in the console log. So in order to show that, let me update the title and then go back to the actual script. So going back to the script there at the bottom in the den, we are going to change the console log to a front matter object. And then in the front matter object, we are going to specify the properties that we want to update. In this case, it will only be the image. So you will see that image will get the image part. And now we are going to log this object. That way front matter knows that it needs to update the front matter of your content instead of just logging something. So once that is done and you're going to execute this again, you will see that it all changes automatically and you don't have to manually copy and paste anymore. These were all manual driven and it might be better that front matter will do it. And that's where a post script action comes into play whenever you're creating new content. The post action or the post scripts property on the content type allows you to configure a script that will be executed whenever a new content for that particular type is being created. So let's go back to front method.json and there we need to copy the ID of the script. Inside your content type, in my case, I'm going to use the sticker content type. I'm going to use the post script property and there I specify the ID of the script. Once this is specified and saved, I can open the dashboard of front matter and create new content. If I select sticker and I create a new sticker, you will see that during the content creation, the post script will automatically get started, creates the image and updates the front matter of the content. I hope this video gave you a good understanding of what custom scripts mean for front matter CMS and how you can use them to optimize your workflow. Now, in some cases, things might go wrong. And if things go wrong, front matter will also notify you and tell you what went wrong. And in order to show you how the troubleshooting works, what I'm going to do is do and implement a bug inside my script. So I'm going to update the index number of four to five, which means that it's going to take the fifth argument, which is not there and then going to execute the custom script again. Now you will see that once I execute it, I will get notified that there's a problem within my script. 
It's even easier to go to the output panel because there you got the whole script execution path and you can use that in order to troubleshoot your scripts. So you can copy paste that into your terminal to see what actually failed and to see if all of the properties that you were expecting are present. So that said, I hope that you got a good understanding of what they are all about, how to troubleshoot, how to create your own scripts. There's even more. So you can also use scripts within placeholders. You can use script for media creation and media optimization and so on. So we have extensibility parts everywhere in Front Matter CMS. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them here down below inside the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.